welcome everyone our today's topic is regulation and anomalous behavior of water or we can say exceptional or abnormal behavior of water when it is heated all right so this is for these topics are from lesson heat part 2 video of this lesson heat and for class 10th ssc so now let's study this two concepts all right so first we will understand about regulation student you may have seen the preparation of an ice ball and first an ice slab is shredded and then the shredded ice ice piece is pressurized around the tip of a stick to prepare the ice ball okay so uh, when the shredded ice piece is pressurized uh, together so what happen it they become sticks to stick to each other and uh, how does the shredded ice convert into solid ice ball and if two small pieces of ice are taken and pressed against each other for a while they stick to each other why does this happen that means if two pieces of ice are uh, pressed against each other so they stick okay so why does this happen so student when ice pieces are pressed or pressurized against each other the pressure is increases and the melting point is decreases so pressure increases and melting point decreases and a layer of water is formed in between the two Uh, in between the two ice pieces okay a thin layer of form in between the two ice pieces and this makes both the pieces of ice to stick together when the pressure is released okay so when pressure is increased melting point decreases and a layer of thin layer of water is formed and they stick to each other all right now we have to perform here one activity just understand this activity so this is a regulation so we need here we are uh, a small slab of ice a thin wire two identical weights okay so these two are identical weight so put a slab of ice on a stand as uh, as shown in the diagram and hang two equal uh, equal weights to the two ends of metal wire and put the wire on the slab as shown in the figure okay so we have to uh, put the two equal weights or two identical weights uh, by a thin uh, by a metal wire and put the wire on the slab in opposite direction okay so what do you observe after this setup so student it is observed that the wire gradually penetrates the ice slab it means it is pressurized okay uh, the, due to the uh, due to the pressure of a metal ice or metal wire on the ice slab what happened the wire gradually penetrates the ice slab and after some time the wire comes out of the lower surface of the ice slab and however the ice slab uh, does not break so why this is so so the phenomena in which the ice converts into water due to the applied pressure and the reconvert and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called as a regulation okay so in our previous slide we have seen the Uh, what we have seen okay so we have seen the if we, if the external pressure is applied or if we pressurize the two pieces of ice so what happened they stick to each other when the pressure is removed they stick to each other and the pheno this phenomena is called as a regulation okay so in which the ice converts to liquid due to applied pressure and then reconverts to ice once the pressure is removed is called as a regulation and the melting point of ice becomes lower than 0 degree celsius due to the pressure okay it become less than 0 degree like uh, minus 1 or in 0 point something uh, so this means that at 0 uh, degree celsius the ice gets convert into water why due to the uh, increase in pressure and decrease in melting point and as soon as the pressure is removed the melting point is restored to 0 degree celsius and water converts water gets converts or reconvert into ice again so this is all about the phenomena of regulation now here we have one question we feel that some objects are cold and some are hot is this feeling related in some way to our body temperature so yes we feel that an object is hot when our body temperature is low as compared to that of the object because heat is transferred from object to the body and similarly when body temperature is high as compared uh, to that of the object we feel that of the object is cold because heat is transferred from body to heat and uh, in this way we are feeling the hot and cold temperature of the 
like external body now let's understand the anomalous behavior of water all right so student in general when a liquid is heated up to a certain temperature it's expand it means expansion of liquid and when cooled it contracts it will convert into ice okay and water however shows a special and exceptional behavior so if we heat water uh, if we heat water from 0 degree celsius up to 4 degree celsius okay if only from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius what happened it contracts instead of expanding so all the liquids are when heating they are they become expansion of the liquid takes place but water shows abnormal behavior or exceptional behavior like when we heat the water from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius instead of expanding it becomes contracted and if the water is heated further it expands that means uh, if the water is heated above the 4 degree celsius it expands and its volume increases and the behavior of water between its temperature the behavior of water between its temperature from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius is called as anomalous or exceptional behavior of water only between the temperature 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius instead of expanding it contracts so this is exceptional behavior of water now student if 1 kg of water so here the temperature versus uh, time graph is given that uh, graph between the volume and temperature of water is given uh, in which the temperature is plotted in x uh, on the x axis and the specific volume has been plotted in the y axis so if 1 kg of water is heated from 0 degree celsius and its volume is plotted uh, as a function of temperature we get the graph uh, as shown an alongside diagram and at 4 degree celsius the volume of water is minimum you can observe here the 4 degree celsius uh, on the x axis so at 4 degree celsius the volume is minimum it is least volume okay and it means that the density of water is maximum at 4 degree celsius so if the volume is minimum so density of the water will be maximum at 4 degree celsius now student let's understand or study the anomalous behavior of water by using hopes apparatus so the anomalous behavior of water can be studied with the hopes apparatus so you, you can you can observe the diagram of the hopes apparatus on the screen so in hopes apparatus a flat bowl is attached to a cylindrical container so this is a cylindrical container and there is a provision so these two are provision at which temperature uh, thermometer t1 and t2 are attached so there is a provision to attach the thermometer above at above side to measure the temperature uh, t2 and below side to measure the temperature t1 and the flat bowl of the cylindrical container and water is filled in the cylindrical container and a mixture of ice and salt so this is a mixture of ice and salt this is also called as a freezing mixture is put uh, is put in the flat Bow. and in the cylindrical container which i have uh, mentioned uh, which i have described with a black color line so this is uh, this is a cylindrical container in which water is there at 12 degrees celsius so here during the study of anomalous behavior of water using hopes apparatus temperature t1 and t2 are recorded after every 30 seconds and the temperature are plotted on the y so this is a time temperature graph uh, in which the temperature sorry the time has been plotted on the x axis and the temperature are plotted on the y axis and the time in minutes on the x axis and the graph is shown alongside diagram so the graph shows that initially both the temperature t1 and t2 are identical that is 12 degree celsius and however as time passes temperature t1 of water in the lower part of the cylindrical cylinder decreases this is t1 decreases fast while temperature t2 of water in the upper part of the cylindrical cylinder decreases comparatively slow that means t2 will t1 will decrease very quickly and t2 will decreases but it uh, gradual decrease in t2 will taste shown has been shown and once the temperature t1 of the lower part reaches to 4 degree celsius it remains almost stable at that temperature 
uh, and T2 decreases slowly to add to 4 degrees Celsius and thereafter since T2 start changing rapidly it records 0 degrees Celsius and after that the lower thermometer T1 records 0 degree Celsius that means um, while uh, first T1 will decreases quickly and uh, T2 will decreases uh, slowly and they will constant at 4 degree Celsius and after reaching 4 degree Celsius what happened T2 will uh, quickly falls to 0 degree Celsius and after some time T1 will gradually decreases and it becomes at 0 it comes at 0 degree Celsius and the point of intersection of the two curves shows a temperature of maximum density. So this is a point of intersection of the two you know, temperature which shows a temperature of maximum density. So at 4 degree Celsius maximum density is there or is noted. Now how can we explain this observation by using Hope's apparatus. So here the, our Hope's apparatus is there. And initially the temperature of water in the middle of cylindrical uh, cylinder low, lowers uh, due to freezing mixture in the outer ball. So in the outer ball we have a freezing mixture due to which the, need the temperature of the water in the middle layer of the cylindrical lowers. And since the temperature of water uh, and since the temperature of water there decreases its volume is also decreases and density increases. So temperature decreases, volume decreases and density will be increased and therefore the lower thermometer T1 shows rapid fall in the temperature as we have seen in the time temperature graph also and this continues till the temperature of water becomes equal to 4 degree Celsius. So after reaching 4 degree Celsius both the temperature will be stable for some time and so here this is freezing bowl and decreases and when the temperature of water start decreasing below 4 degrees Celsius its volume increases and density will decreases and the temperature of water in the upper part that is T2 therefore decreases rapidly uh, to 0 degrees Celsius okay and the temperature of water in the lower part T1 however remains at 4 degrees Celsius for some time and then decreases slowly or gradually to 0 degree Celsius so student uh, in this way the anomalous or exceptional behavior of a water can be studied by using the hopes apparatus so i hope you all have understood this topic very well thank you